Hi, this is Rockin' Robin. Today, I'm going to take a look at some of the items that I'm listing. I went thrifting, I went garage selling. What am I th listing? Let's check it out. I am going to start off by showing you this pair of sloggers. You've seen Crocs. You've seen a lot of different kinds of shoes, but have you seen sloggers? Well, these sloggers are going up. I found these at a Salvation Army. I paid $5. I wasn't sure about these. I looked them up, but they're selling for about $30. So I figured, hey, that's not bad. Let's give them a try. They're in pretty good condition. I'm going to put them up this week. We'll see what happens. This purse I found at a garage sale for $2. Now, the name I had never really heard of. It was Michelle Bobot, but I looked up a lot of her clothes are selling. I couldn't find any purses from her, at least nothing like this, but I really love the intricate design and the beautiful butterflies. Take a look at those, and they're beaded, and even the handle is beaded, so I'm going to list that this week. At a different garage sale, I found these for $4. They're a pair of Brooks. They're not in perfect condition, but for $4, I'm thinking about listing them for $30. See what happens, because uh, Brooks do sell well, and this pair looks to be, you know, the bottoms were very clean. It was a good size, I mean, it's an eight or eight and a half, so I'm gonna give these a try. I figured uh, Brooks is a perfect brand. Now over here, Patagonia. I found this. This was $3.50. This was at the Salvation Army. Uh, it's a long sleeve shirt. Patagonia usually does well. You don't always get a ton of money, but it usually sells pretty fast. So I'm hoping to get about $20 for the Patagonia. I did put it up on eBay and I put it up on Poshmark. I may eventually put this one up on Mercari, but I have already put it up on those two this week. Also, I found this, and it is a beautiful Harley Davidson. I'm always looking to buy Harley Davidson. I have a lot. I sell a lot. I did pay quite a bit on this. It was $10, and that, I was afraid, was too much. But my partner in crime said, let's get it, and let's go for it, and let's list it at 30 and see what happens. What I liked most about this was the patch. I just thought that patch was different. It was unusual. I liked what was on the pocket. It said Harley Davidson right there and 1903. So I listed that. Next, this Peter Millar. I find a lot of Peter Millar, but people online have been saying that it sells well. I've seen it from other people who sell. So I decided to grab this Peter Millar polo. It was uh, 250, I believe, and I'm going to give it a try. I'll let you know how it goes, if this brand is one that is worth selling or not. I'm also going to look for it in the Hawaiian style, see if I can find it like that as well. And I found a billabong. I love to find billabong. This was only a dollar at the, uh, Mer the Salvation Army. So I love dollar items. I always go to Salvation Army. Our Salvation Army has a dollar items from time to time. And uh, billabong is one of the brands I look for. This is a nice t-shirt. It was in very good condition, very clean, hardly even looked used. So I'm hoping to get at least $20 on that. Now at a garage sale, we found this for $5. It's an electronic chest set. I don't know how chest sets, electronic chest sets sell. Uh, we sold some other kind of chess sets, so we decided to try this. Uh, I believe we paid like $5 for it. I believe I just listed it at 30 or something to that, around that area. So uh, it did work. We did check it. We put in batteries. No box, no directions. Let's see what happens. Also, we have been putting up from time to time some of these uh, brownies and Girl Scout vests with patches. We're going to try this one. It has patches on both sides. I just put this one up. I had put up some others, and I sold some at auction, and I have some up for buy it now. But this one I hadn't put up, so I said, now is a good time to list it. If it doesn't sell now, I expect it'll sell in January from anywhere to $10 to 
Now I'm doing something different today. I'm showing you some things that also I'm selling on Facebook Marketplace. I tried these on at the flea market and I didn't have a lot of success, but I have sold a lot of Legos online on Facebook Marketplace in the past. So I measured them, there was six pounds, uh, $25 is what I'm asking. Not bad, there's a lot of good Legos and it comes with the case. So I'll let you know what happens. Also, I am selling a piece of furniture on Facebook Market this, this week. This one is one that was my own. I am no longer using it. Um, so I figured, why not? I've had a couple inquiries about it. A couple people want to come see it. I'm asking $50. If I don't get $50, I'll take what they offer me. Uh, I can't have it around. Furniture is usually hard to sell, but sometimes one piece of furniture is not bad. So I'll let you know if that sells as well. And also, I am selling these hip boots on Facebook Marketplace. See, I'm doing a lot for Facebook Marketplace this week. Um, I had had these online on eBay. I had had these at the flea market. Nothing. I paid $5 a piece. I have a men's and a women's. So I said, why not try Facebook Marketplace? See what happens. Sometimes you got to keep pushing them in different areas to make the sale. I don't know if these will sell at all. I'm not going to recommend you buy them. So those are some of the things that we are listing this week. If you like our channel, the things that I show you, I try to give you tips and secrets and tell you what I'm listing and why and how much I paid, what they sold for. Please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and give us a big thumbs up. See you next week.